what's up guys my name is jerry and today's video is going to be on the orlando magic and i'm going to be talking about how this team can create a crazy lineup and we're going to jump right into the video now the orlando magic are coming off a fantastic offseason because they got the number one overall pick in the 2022 nba draft and i feel like they made the right choice with paulo bancaro with the addition of him and key players like jonathan isaac and markel Fultz coming back fully healthy i think the orlando magic is going to be a very fun team to watch next season and i think they're going to have the opportunity to be competitive and with that being said we're going to Get into this lineup that i think will work but i also think that it's going to be crazy at the point guard position i would like to see cole anthony now hear me out guys at the two jonathan isaac at the three franz wagner at the four paulo bancaro and at the five wendell carter now the two through the four position you can flip those however you wanted all the three of those guys are around the same height but i know this lineup sounds crazy because everyone after cole anthony is literally 6'10 or taller but in this video i'm going to tell you guys why this lineup would work and the first thing we're going to do is talk about what all of these guys bring to the table individually and we're going to start with cole anthony now, I am a huge fan of Cole Anthony, and I think he has the opportunity to be a star in this league one day. I think he definitely has the talent and skill set, and he's just 22 years old. And when I look at his game, I see a three-level score. He has some range on his jump shot. He can knock down that three ball. He can get to the mid-range and pull up from any area on the court, and he can also get to the rim and finish with both hands. He's very crafty and very athletic. And Cole Anthony, he can be so effective in so many different ways scoring the basketball. He can go get a bucket in pick and roll situations. He can score in isolation. He also has a really good handle on the basketball. And for a guy that I consider to be a score first point guard, he is a pretty solid passer. And what I love about Cole Anthony is that he plays the game of basketball with a lot of passion and a lot of energy. You can tell like when the Orlando Magic, when they were losing, you can see the frustration all over his face and he's always in the in the gym working in the offseason so I really like Cole Anthony and I think he has a very bright future in this league and now we're going to look at the guy that we have at the two spot in this lineup but he can literally be anywhere from the two to the four and that's Jonathan Isaac and before we go any further in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, a digital security company called Aura. And me personally, I've had the app for two days now, and it's already been super beneficial to me. As soon as I created my account and logged in, Aura notified me about six of my passwords being leaked to the dark web and what i love about this app is that it was very easy for me to identify what those six passwords were and i was able to change them immediately and the cool thing about aura is that they don't just monitor leak passwords but they also keep an eye on your email your social security number and your credit card they make sure none of these things are surfacing on the dark web and if they do find anything they send a notification to your phone or your email so you can get things taken care of as soon as possible and what I love about this app is that it's very convenient but it's also super cool and easy to use and thanks to my partnership with Aura you and your family can get a free 14-day trial to try the app for yourself and make sure that any of your information is not out on the dark web all you have to do is go to aura.com slash champion and that link will also be in the description and in the comment section thank you guys for listening and now we can get back to the video now all my orlando magic fans they know exactly how i feel about jonathan isaac and i think if it wasn't for injuries he would be one of the best two-way players in the league right now he just has incredible size and length he's literally the same size as the average nba center but he can guard one through five jonathan isaac he's 6 11 7 feet somewhere in that range and he can pick up a point guard 96 feet and i just think things like that that's very transcendent and that's very 
very intimidating, and he just had that nasty injury. And Jonathan Isaac, he's one of those guys that had tremendous upside on both sides of the ball. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that he was definitely going to be a great defender, and he still has that chance. He's only 24 years of age, and he's supposed to be coming back healthy this season, and he definitely has youth on his side. But back to the upside, he also had that on the offensive side of the um, on the offensive side of the ball as well. At his size and length, he had the ability to pit the ball on the floor and create his own shot and get to a mid-range pull-up. And he was also effective without the basketball, being able to knock down wide open threes and cut to the rim and finish effectively. I really like Jonathan Isaac, and I would love to see him in this lineup. And now we're gonna take a look at the guy filling that small forward position, which is gonna be Franz Wagner. Now, Franz Wagner, Wagner is coming off a very impressive rookie season and the 2021 NBA draft class was so stacked with guys like Evan Mobley, Kay Cunningham, Jalen Green, Scotty Barnes, and Franz Wagner still managed to make first team off rookie. Now Franz Wagner, he doesn't get talked about as much as those other guys because his game is not as flashy. And what I love about Franz Wagner is that he's very polished. Like you could tell that he's very fundamental it doesn't take him much to score the basketball he can be effective as a cutter or running off screens and he can also run that pick and roll effectively and he can also pass out of that pick and roll he's a very skilled basketball player and what i really love about him is that he always makes the right decision whether it's to make the right pass or whatever move he decides to do with the basketball and something i noticed from him from his rookie season he is a great slasher going to the rim he does a great job of finishing with both hands he can finish with strength and he can also finish with finesse and i love him as a defender as well he has nice size and with that big body and his mobility he can guard multiple positions so i'm really high on franz wagner and i love him in this lineup and now we're going to get to the guy who will be playing that power forward position which will be paulo bancaro Apollo Bancaro was the number one overall pick in this year's draft, and I think this was definitely the correct choice by the Orlando Magic. I think Paolo Bancaro is going to be able to be that offensive motor that the Magic are looking for. And when we look at his game, I think his offensive game is truly unique. And we start with his size. He stands at 6'10", and he weighs a lean 250 pounds. And I think the best part of his game is when he's playing out of the post. He has tremendous footwork and he can do just about every post move in the book. And he's a great finisher around the rim. He can finish with both hands. And also he is in, he's effective in the post as a playmaker. He sees the floor really well and he is a great passer. And it doesn't stop in the low post for Paolo Bancaro. And this is where his uniqueness comes into play. Now we gotta remember he is 6'10", 250, but he's able to handle the basketball. Paolo Bancaro, he can also be effective on the perimeter. He can handle the basketball really well. He can score in isolation and he can also run the pick and roll as a ball handler. So I think all of these things make him really special on the offensive side of the ball. And he has so much upside in that area. Then also in the on the defensive side of the ball, I think he showed us something in the summer league. He willingly took on the challenge of guarding Keegan Murray and both Jabari Smith. And when you get a guy that says young, as Paolo Bancaro and he's looking forward to playing some defense that is a great sign so I'm really looking forward to seeing him in this lineup and coming in at the center position last but certainly not least is Wendell Carter Jr. Now, Wendell Carter is another young player in this league that is constantly improving, and he is coming off a great season with the Orlando Magic, especially coming down the stretch of the second half of the season. He was religiously pitting up a double-double. And Wendell Carter, I think he's going to be very important for this lineup. Last season, he flashed moments of being able to knock down wide-open three-point shots. And I'm telling you guys, if that's something that he can do consistently, that is going to 
unlock a whole different level of the Orlando Magic's offense. But Wendell Carter, he excels in two areas. In the low post, he has a bunch of post moves and he knows how to finish with strength and finesse. And he's also really great in the pick and roll as a roll man. He does a great job of setting effective screens and rolling hard to the rim. And I really like Wendell Carter. He's pretty solid on the defensive side of the ball as well. Not a great shot blocker, but he plays great low post defense and he usually contests shots down there really well. So I love him in this lineup. And now that we talked about what all of these guys bring individually, now we're gonna talk about how this lineup would work as a unit. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. How can I line up with one point guard and the other four guys are a big work on the basketball court? But these bigs that the Orlando Magic have, these front court players, they are very versatile and they're very skilled with what they can do with the basketball in their hands. And I think what's going to allow a lineup like this to work is that they have multiple guys that can create for themselves and create for others. And I think the two primary ball handlers in this lineup would be Cole Anthony and Paolo Bancaro like both of those guys can orchestrate an offense full time and then they have other guys that can put the ball on the floor and create for others like Franz Wagner Jonathan Isaac has also showcased that in his career being able to create his own shot so I think the offensive firepower is going to be there and I can see this team run so many sets they can play in the high post and the low post with guys like Wendell Carter and Paolo Bancaro they can create so many mismatches from that and I think the pick and roll with this unit is going to be so elite because you could have a pick and roll you can have a two-man game between Cole Anthony and Paolo Bancaro like that's going to be very hard to stop and then you could think about this the Orlando Magic, they could use Paolo Bancaro as the ball handler and use a pick and roll with Wendell Carter. Now, I think that right there, that's going to give this unit the best spacing with those two guys in the two-man game. And then that's going to create so many mismatch problems. And then after Cole Anthony is just so much, it's just so much length. And I think they're going to be eating in the paint while also being able to knock down the three-point shot. So that's how I'm thinking about this group, um, thinking about this group on the offensive side of the ball and I think they're also going to be pretty solid defensively. When we look at this lineup defensively, the only guy on the court that's not going to be 6'10 or taller is Cole Anthony, and he's not known as a lockdown defender, but I think he gives a decent amount of effort on the defensive side of the ball. When we look at this lineup and we look at the guys from 2 through 5, I think there's so much to love. And with Jonathan Isaac, we know what he brings on the defensive side of the ball. He is literally a defensive a monster that can guard one through five and I also like Paolo Bancaro and Franz Wagner as defenders now they stand at 610 with great length but they're very mobile they have strength so you can throw them on different players and then Wendell Carter will be man in the man in the fort in the paint and like I say he's a great one-on-one -on -one post defender and he usually contests shots really well and I think if this lineup had to I think they would be very comfortable switching those two um the four bigs two through five I think they all have great mobility and they could stay in front of smaller players so that's what I'm thinking about this unit on the defensive side of the ball I think there's going to be only one guy that teams are going to try to attack and that's Cole Anthony because he has a small you know he's a smaller player in the NBA but when you have four players that are 6'10 and taller out there I think it's going to be very easy to hide him on the defensive side of the ball and that's really going to be it for this video i just wanted to touch on that i was just i was just thinking about this lineup like it'll be really crazy if the orlando magic did this you guys let me know down in the comment section if i'm if i'm crazy for thinking a lineup like this would work or let me know if you agree and then if you enjoyed please leave a like and then subscribe subscribe for more weekly content we do this all the time man and that's curtains